A canine police officer gets a call and returns home to find his house engulfed in flames. His family's okay. His canine partner and family pet fall victim. The family has lost all their possessions. Monica Guy, she'll let you know how you can help. Monica? Bill, Officer Okinski was actually on duty when that call went out. He heard it go out over the radio. The house he lived in in Beechwood with his mother, brother, and two nephews was on fire. Inside the house, four dogs, two of whom were seriously injured, and one of those dogs, his newly appointed canine partner. The fire started around 1.30 Sunday morning in Officer Okinski's eight-year-old nephew's bedroom. The boy's father took me through what's left of the house, and everything inside is black. This is my son's room. There's nothing left here. The boy started out sleeping in his room, but sometime during the night, he woke up. And your son got in bed with you just by he, luck. Yeah, he walked in. You know, he does that once in a while. He gets a little nervous. He'll come in and he'll just crawl in with me. Thank God. The family lost everything, including one of their pets. But I mean, the best thing is we all made it out alive. Unfortunately, my uncle's little dog died. Her name was Lola, rest in peace. But um, luckily, we most of us made it out alive and his canine's okay too. Officer Okinski's partner was treated by a veterinarian and is now recovering with the family. Throughout the day, people have been dropping off donations to help them rebuild their lives. The Pine Beach Police Department and the PBA are accepting donations for the family. A spaghetti dinner fundraiser along with a benefit concert are also in the works. If you'd like more information about that, you can go to my Facebook page. That's Monica Guy News. Or find me on Twitter at Monica Guy News 1. Reporting from Beachwood, New Jersey, I'm Monica Guy for Chasing News. Bill?